Hello there people, this is Bruce B. Cool or Nintendo Bruce, very much like Pirates vs. Ninjas. So now we're on the sixth part to our guide, Hornet Man. But first, let's look at the Rush Jet. So when you do use this, it's basically something you can ride on, which will go in a straight line forward. Uh, if you press up, you go up. If you press down, you go down. Pretty simple, really, and we shall be using it a little later, even with the conservationist achievement, because you have to. But anyway, enough about that. Let's go on to Hornet Man. So, a few enemies to note in this stage, uh, especially are these flower pots we'll come up to shortly. They've got three different projectiles. One is a red flower, like that. Second is a, a white flower or a daisy. And the third, where I think there was only one flower pot of its kind in this level, is with a cactus. Now shoot all those projectiles for the World Warrior achievement, okay? Now here, shoot the elevator here, and yeah, comes back after a while. And as you saw, there's no recovery, even if you think you're standing on top of it. So we'll be getting to those later as well. Be careful if you get those screws up there with the rush coil, because you could hit the instant death spikes. And those scissors are a pain. Try to avoid them, really. Well, unless you're going for the World Warrior achievement. And here, shoot the green plant thing. It can't be destroyed but it's pink projectiles can, so try and shoot them if you can. And uh, as you saw there, if you stick to the left side, then there's a possibility of an extra life. Okay, and down here is our flower boss, which can be a pain. Uh, it will fire its four petals at you. Uh, they can cause a fair bit of damage, as well as that rotary flower thing. Like if you've ever played Mario Brothers and you've got the rotating flame pole things, except uh, this looks a, a little more nicer and fluffier. Now, as soon as you see the flower appear, just go straight for it. Try to shoot it as many times as possible. If it's on the other side of the room and you really can't get to it, then just concentrate on dodging its shots, okay? Because uh, the last thing you want is rush, to rush around and then hit the spikes on the bottom. So, anyway, that wasn't too bad there. Now, here's those little lifty pull-out mattress type things. If you got one open then you just have to keep running otherwise it will fling you back and you'll probably go into the spikes okay don't worry too much about the scissors again just try and avoid them if you can right here's that one with the cactus projectile I was talking about a little earlier on just shoot the cactus and uh, that should be it for your world warrior achievement really uh, well that and the other enemies we've got to get to but like I say this is a unique enemy so make sure you get him okay okay now we're coming to the home stretch here if you need any energy and stuff, it does uh, supply you with quite a few bits, as well as an extra life we're going to come to soon. Uh, there will also be a pink crusher near the end here, which is quite easy to avoid actually, but you can shoot him if you need any more energy, just be careful not to get hit by him. And again, you could usually farm for energy from these flower pot things as well. Right, here we go, just go underneath him for the first time. Try and keep it as far left as possible from that pink crusher, otherwise he'll probably hit you when you try to go back down the ladder while rushing things. Okay, I'm only one piece of energy or full energy, so uh, it should be good. Now, main thing with the Hornet Man is all after firing three Hornets, which you'll see shortly, he'll run from side to side, or sometimes only the once, and fire off more Hornets. And that's it. Now, the only annoying thing, as you can tell, is the Hornets themselves. Um, they home in on you on your last position and you have to try and avoid them or preferably there I can't even say that preferably try and shoot them so there's only one hornet or zero hornets left and then it becomes very much easier to avoid there we go as you can see even though those hornets are fast you've usually got enough time to either jump around or move left to right from them his weakness is the magma bazooka um, but yeah, that weren't too bad, really. I know we're going for the conservationist achievement anyway, but uh, yeah, Hornet Man, done and dusted. And with that, we now get the Hornet Chaser. Now, besides doing extra damage to Splash Woman, these home in on enemies and also items that are out of reach. So extra lives, energy pills, if you can't get them, use the Hornet Chaser, and they'll lovingly bring them back to you. And on that note, next up is Splash Woman. See you next time.